I wanted to make this announcement here in Muranga that I have now tendered my resignation, given my resignation letter to His Excellency the President of our Republic, His Excellency Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta, for the appointment that he had literally given me of being the Chairman of the Communication Authority of Kenya. I tendered that resignation on uh, the 8th of this month with the view and intention of running for the Senate seat of Branga County. And because people have been asking me over and over again whether I'm running for that position, I want to make it clear now that I'm in the race and that is the position that I'm vying for for Muranga County. You recall that I was the first senator of this county under the new constitution 2010 and that I was also honored and privileged to be the first deputy speaker of the Senate. I did what I had to do dedicatedly uh, with a view to uplifting the position not just in Muranga but to bring out the importance of devolution in this country. I've kept saying that devolution is the cornerstone of this country and that without it, uh, I don't know even how we were managing in the past. So I am a very strong defender of devolution. I think there was unfinished business when I was not uh, in, the, in the current parliament and that is where I want to start it over again. And my message to the people of Muranga as I ran for the Senate seat is that the Senate seat is such an important seat. Devolution is so important. We shall elect a governor in Muranga who shall be in charge of the, the devolution of our county. We shall elect a senator who shall be in charge of over, oversighting the role of the governor in Muranga and the money that is voted in from the national government. So it's a position of trust. It's a position that needs to be taken very, very seriously. That is why I still believe that the Senate is the centerpiece of devolution. And that is why it is the position I'm, I want to go, I would like to go back to, because I do not believe that I had finished the vision I had for Muranga County when I was a senator, not having sat in the last Senate. My request to the people of Muranga is pure and simple. Do not let us experiment with our county again. Let us have people who have the experience, people who have the will, and people who have been tested and proved to be able to deal with the issues of Muranga. That is my request, and that is, as you go to the campaigns now, again, I plead, and I pleaded yesterday when I, went to ch when I, when I attended church here in Muranga, that what I would like us to see are peaceful elections with the full realization that on the 10th of August this year, Muranga shall still be our county, we shall still be the same people, and we shall want to see our country, our county move forward. So I'm praying that we have peaceful elections, um, agenda-based, uh, agenda-based elections, issue-based elections, where we're discussing what we would like to see our country looking like from that date going forward 10, 20, 30, 50 years and beyond. That is why I've offered myself, and I'm asking the people of Muranga to consider me for the position that I'm seeking because they know me, they've tested me, and that's a position I failed in the past, and I've done what I had to do for our county and for the national government also because the two go hand in hand together. But at the risk of repeating myself, let me say that the importance of devolution cannot be gainsaid. We shall have a president in this country come the elections. We shall have a president, and the president shall be in Nairobi. But the people that shall be running the matters of the county, using the money that would have been voted in from the national government, those are very important people, and the people cannot afford to elect anybody emotionally or because of a party. We must elect people that we believe will deliver the mandate that shall be, have been given to them on the 9th of August to run the matters of our beloved county and also our country. Thank you very much. The Garden of Joy is a green project. We are telling you to put a roof whose water you can drink. Put a storage tank for harvesting water and use biodigester to recycle water. And what a privilege, what a joy. You know, it is to be right here at the Garden of Joy Queen.
Yes. Another thing I would wish to add, Motati, is about uh, accessibility when you enter to the project. The accessibility is very awesome. Uh, as you can see, we have a nine meter wide road. Munaesa Pitana, Mangari, Mawili, you can, there is no uh, jam with this project. You can see we have accessibility and along every, uh, along every road. There is a lot of plants which are planted there. And I want to assure you that uh, hair here is purified. We have clean hair here because of what we've done as Optiven. We've done lots of th trees. We've done 3,000 trees here. So your life will never be. Imagine while you are in your balcony. Just imagine because of the trees. And we say that come and be with us, uh, join this family. And because we are a Christian based family, this project has a, a meditation park whereby you can go and pray, whereby you can go and meet, meet your God through prayers, somewhere where you can go rest. There is an uh, area where you can do volleyball. Wanaume munaesa choma nyama. Yani, it's a place where you can't get in Machakos County. Come and join us and make sure you get something and your life will change. Mutati. Hey, Colera. Hey, wow. Hey. Thank you so much. And I can see people, they want to commit yes. uh, to this uh, project. Please give them your number. Uh, if you want to commit yourself today, in fact, today we, we have a, a, an offer which is ending at uh, Sasita Usiku. Yes, make sure you call me. To, I'll give you this information. Uh, 0722 901789. Call this number. 0722 901789. That's my personal number. I'll make sure I take you through even the process of getting this land because you have to come and see first. We don't sell something which you don't, you, you've never seen. You come first to see and we provide transport from our Roy office. In fact, we have an office in Roy where there is a site manager who can bring you here. Our cars are there which are very good and we observe the MOH regulations because of what is happening uh, worldwide. And we'll bring you and make sure you see your plot. We have beacons in place. We have, uh, we have uh, every plot as a title did and uh, immediately you say, plot x is what i want we make sure we give you the title did go and do your search you can go and do your search and then come back and make sure you invest with us today if you invest with us just uh, say interested and i'll get your get your name or uh, your email address and then i'll take you the process of investing with optiven thank you Mutet. so kalera what you are saying is that uh, once they call that number you personally will uh, will bring them here am i mamutu Hapana, hapana muteti. Mukini pigia hiyo namba kutoka saa hii. I'll make sure I'll be in your third car and I'll make sure I come with you this uh, this uh, start and journey of investment with you. I'll come with you with our driver and then we'll make sure tumekusaidia kutafuta plot yenye unataka. Maybe you want a corner plot. Maybe you want a residential plot. Maybe you want a commercial plot. Tukonazo zote. In fact, Barabara, this is a this is a government road, and I'm very sure if you get um, a, a, a commercial plot here, it will be huge. It will have you. You can do your your shop. You can do your your kiosk if you wish. But we don't encourage kiosks here because this place is uh, controlled. Make sure you do a good shop, and it will give you return.